If we can build a rocket engine in 3D printing, you can do anything in 3D printing. Agnikul Cosmos builds low-cost rockets using 3D technology for commercial space missions. They design, manufacture, test and launch orbital class rockets for micro and nano satellites. My name is Moin, I'm one of the co-founders of Agnikul. Moin SPM and Srinath Ravichandran founded the IIT Madras incubated Chennai based startup Agnikul Cosmos in 2017. Since then, they have launched India's first ever factory capable of manufacturing 3D printed rockets, inaugurated the company's first ever launch pad designed and operated by a private player, and successfully completed the flight acceptance test of their 3D printed rocket engine. So what makes their 3D printed rocket special? The entire rocket engine is a single component. There is no joining, welding or any of the processes typically done in a rocket manufacturing process. Through this, they offer an error-free process for building rockets. The time that is consumed to make a rocket engine, conventionally it would take somewhere around for us nearly six months, I said. We would be able to print an entire rocket engine in three days. So that is the massive advantage that we have. This makes Agnikul's rockets six to seven times cheaper than building a conventionally constructed rocket. What are Agnikul's services? The business model is quite simple. We transport satellites to space. To simplify it further, you can look at it like an Amazon truck from Earth to space. They deliver in a way that the wait time between when you place the order to actually taking someone or something to space is less than two weeks. Basically, Agnikul Cosmos wants to simplify access to space. Here's why. The best part is like, you know, we want to democratize space. And which means like, you know, there are multiple industries that are trying to use space as a platform. If we have an ability to launch once in every week, I think we would be like opening space for all. When you open space, what you get is data. And today data is the next big thing in the entire world. So once data is provided, you can make better decisions. There are insurance companies that will take our data from space, right? It's basically called as earth observation or imagery. Uh, today, there are insurance companies that are today trying to take images and trying to predict the yield that might be coming out. And this helps them to even give loans. But today, it is still happening on a B2B level. Imagine if this could be at a smartphone level, even a farmer is getting an opportunity to see what is the probability of the yield. So this will allow him to make informed decisions. This would not only help him to understand about the yield, but also certain other factors such as the weather that will be down there. Ultimately, this is the target. Agnikul Cosmos is assisted by ISRO on flight safety, range safety and launch range operations. It's a good time to be in India for space. We see almost nearly like 60 to 70 companies like, you know, having a space startup. Even if 20 percentage work out of that will be a powerful space economy in the next two to three years. Do you think space will become more accessible and affordable in the future? Let us know in the comments. For more inspiring stories, follow The Better India on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube and more.